Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovic. Today we're going to talk about the ultimate backstop. Uh, I love this thing. Before I do, take a look at this shirt. Check that out right there. These are available at TBW Podcast. Link down below for you. Uh, I have like uh, 20 designs there and they're all kind of hunting related like this. But uh, if you're looking for something like that, prices are great. They're down below for you. Um, now, as far as backstops, I'm going to shoot into this backstop. Every, you know, I'm going to shoot three arrows. I got my pocket into this backstop. But I built this because of the fact that before I built my garage there, um, that's just an alleyway and then there's neighbor's uh, property there and I didn't want to have a chance of me missing a target and losing an arrow, that would be bad. Uh, or that arrow skipping into their yard, me being over there scuffing through their grass looking for an arrow, I'd look like an idiot. So I built this backstop um, and I love it and it's affordable and I'm gonna bring you and show you the details but watch how this works, how good this is, okay? This is a 57 pound bow at my 26 inch draw length. It's a 730 grain arrow with a field tip on there with field tips. But we're gonna just shoot the backstop with all three of these arrows so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's just pick a spot over that deer, over top of that. Okay, look at that. Watch, we'll shoot another one. Shoot the same area just because it's easy and convenient. So we put this in here. Okay, I mean, and I'll show you how little penetration we're getting. Now let's put one under the deer. Let's go under the deer. Okay, now we're going to walk down here and I'm going to show you this. It's incredible. Um, and like I said, it just, uh, it's self-sealing. It seals itself back up just almost like a 3D target does. Uh, let's walk to, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause you up. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, as you can see, they bear, they don't even really go in. Okay, I'll bring you in and show you a close up of this here too. So you can see that, we won't bring you back out over here, but you can see that they, they don't barely do anything. You can see I've missed a couple of times. There's a few little dings in there, uh, you know, from it, but uh, for the most part, they just don't, you know, you can see that one down there lower too. They barely even put a mark. Here's another mark from one that I've missed. Sorry, I'm working around my tripod here. But there's another little mark right there. They almost reseal up. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't miss a lot. <laughs> so uh, it's not a ton of them. These are actually marks from the actual thing. But uh, you can see that's an actual hit. Um, and uh, that's probably one down there. Um, but like I said, not too often. But they hold up. Um, incredible. So let's back you up where you can see here. There we go. And let me explain this thing to you. So... What it is, is this is a rubber horse stall mat. i got to turn this where I can see it so I know where I'm at in frame there. Sorry. Here we go. This is a rubber horse stall mat from Tractor Supply. Okay, that's where I got it at. It's a 4x8 rubber horse stall mat. Um, I want to say that it was, I don't remember. At the time I got it, I think it was like 60 bucks. Okay, so 50, 60 bucks I think it was. 53 something, I'm thinking. I don't know what they are now. I bought it two years ago. But that horse stall mat's been hanging here in the Georgia heat for two straight years. It has been here all the time, sun beating down on it. Um, but it's a horse stall mat. It's a two by four frame, two by four legs that you can see down here. And then I, because I wanted a little more space for protection on there, again, depending on how big or tall my targets were, what I was going to put here. Um, I have a, uh, um, a piece of down here is a uh, one by six down on the bottom and then I got I had this leftover piece from a construction spot so I just put it there as an extra bonus uh, to save that one because this bore is so low and on bore we're on hogs we're aiming here so there's a good chance I could have missed low so I just put that there and you can see I actually do have a couple of dings in this board uh, you can see the difference there you can see those couple holes in there right there so having that board there's kind of a nice little precaution too but by doing it like this, and then adding these uh, these deck board pieces that I had just spares laying around, it just gives me that extra protection on here. But it, the mat itself is four foot by eight foot, um, is the actual mat size. I will take you around back and show you. But it was just a spur of the moment, come up with something, build something. Uh, don't overthink this, okay? Make it simple, and that's all I did. It is basically two by four, a two by six a two by four and a two by four across the top and then a leg on the bottom, a leg on the bottom and a cross support beam in the back. I'll show you, but very simple. And I just screwed it in using uh, drywall screws with some big washers on it and it hangs, it's free hanging. So when I hit this, you want it to have a little movement to it. Okay, see how it's got some flex and some movement to it. That's important because that will suck up that impact. If I screwed it all the way around, 
I might get the arrows to go into there a little further. So leaving it hang loose uh, is a big factor on there. But that's that whole mat just hangs there like that. And as you can see, the arrows don't really stick in much. And um, it's just, it, it's a perfect backstop. I'm going to take you now, I'm going to pull you off of the uh, tripod and bring you around back so I can close up so I can show you the construction of this thing. So we'll be right back. I got to change the um, stabilization mode on this and that kind of stuff. I'll be there in one sec. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this dude here. So as you can see as we come around, again, I got it tucked into the woods. That's why I want it where I pinned it at here. But you can see that there is a crossbar support right here, a 2x4 that goes all the way down. It goes right to that bottom 2x4 leg that is running there that's kind of buried in. But it's all it is. And that's the whole support structure. Uh, I might be able to see more, but like I said, I got this all kind of jammed in here and tucked in. But there's that horse stall mat right there. You can see the washers and the drywall screws that just screw it right into that 2x4. Okay, and I got it hanging so it comes down uh, just above that. Sorry about the phone ringing here, but uh, comes to just, a, you know, so it's ba basically all protected. Got my running boards here from my, uh, from my uh, Tacoma, but you can see there that that structure is just that one angle piece of 2 by 4 coming to the back leg and it goes out forward. So uh, real simple, Let me turn that off, there we go. Um, so real simple design, we'll come around and show you on this side, but... You can see here, this is it. This actually should have came here first. Sorry, this is a better side. Uh, but there it is right there. Two by four across there. Two by four that comes up this way. Two uh, uh, deck boards that are basically going across here. And another two by four that goes to the back there. And I just did just put like a little brace in there just to connect them together. As you can see right there. Um, you know, that little hunk of two by four, so they had something to screw into, but don't overthink it. Don't complicate it. You know, if you want to make a different design, make a different design. The whole key to this is getting that mat to be where you want it at. So you have the protection. So, uh, simple, functional, works like a champ. I painted my green cause I'm in, again, I'm in Georgia. This bush stays green all year long. So it kind of stays tucked in and hidden in here, uh, buried in. It doesn't look out of place. Like I said, it's just, uh, you know, it works fantastic. And I have two targets on there, a deer target and, uh, you know, that hog target, the two main things I'm hunting. So uh, just a simple, functional kind of way to do one. But that backstop was dirt cheap in cost to build, and it's been incredible. Again, I'll show you some of those arrow hits we just did. Like I said, they seal up really good. So here is, right here is one of those hits we just did. And the other one is down here somewhere. Uh, I think it is probably that one because it's the newest one. Where's my finger at? Right there. So that one. Um, but like I said, you can see that they just seal right back up. This thing should last me many, many, many years. Um, and for a total cost, even if you were to buy the lumber and all the stuff like that to do it, you're still you're you're like probably 65 bucks, 70 bucks maybe. I'm guessing. I don't know for sure, uh, but it is not very expensive to do. This was a very simple. Uh, it took me about one hour to build it. All I did was lay the mat out on the ground, lay the two by fours next to it, and uh, screwed in the top board, and then I uh, screwed in the bottom board. So I mean, I I didn't even use a measuring tape for any part of this. I let the uh the actual mat here be the game that is what uh, actually made my decisions for me on there so like i said i laid it out i laid that two by four across the top screwed it into it put the two cross two by fours on it put the bottom one on screwed it together just simple easy functional and then I just uh, stood it up and I put the legs on. And then I put a cross brace. I mean, it was, like I said, there's no measuring or nothing here. Uh, I did cut these nice and clean on there, but not super clean. I didn't cut the insides. Like I said, I didn't get carried away. So keep it simple. Keep it easy. And uh, But like I said, very functional, uh, well cleaned up and disguised kind of backdrop that kind of tucks into wherever you want to put it. So, uh, all right. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.